Alright, we good. You start. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it just came out now, yeah. Probably. Alright, shall I warm this row? Like to give all praises and glory to your howl by Shem Yahshad, by Shem Rakakadash, the one that said, Father, let's pray for them. Shall I warm this like I'm there, those who are the faithful, they love and teach and serve. You know, just coming with the uh, weekly gathering, you know, we're going to get into a topic about uh, burying the uh, discomforts uh, here in Babylon. Right? You know, so, uh, right. so, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. There have no temptation taking you but such as is common to men. There have no temptation taking you but such as is common to men. Right, and, you know, just in general, we all been through temptations. We're going to continue to have to go through temptations. That's a part of Satan's job to try to remove us from his truth. Yeah, that's a part of Satan's job to try to get us about this truth with the different temptations that come along the way. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a big butt and a pretty smile, you know what I'm saying? Come by as a temptation unto you. You know what I'm saying? It could be a, a whisper of sweet nothing's in your ear lying to you. I mean, secretly she got a man and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That's one uh, thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, chasing money, being about money. You know what I'm saying? Because we always going through different hardships within this hell, man. You know what I'm saying? You're always going to be in, in need of something just because, you know, we suffering because we prophets, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there have no temptation taken you with such as is common to men, but the most but but the most high is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. Yeah, other temptations like you know what I'm saying, especially like when you first I'm saying that uh, if you ain't know too much about it, then you hear about the, you know, the Sabbath, you're like, the Sabbath, so you mean like a day, I can't do nothing, I can't, do, you know what I'm saying, like, I can't go do me, what if it's a Friday night, so you telling me I can go out to the, I can go out, I can't go to the bar or nothing, nah, man, you know what I'm saying? Play with your woman. Yeah, exactly, you know what I'm saying, that'd be the time for the Lord, so, you know what I'm saying, it'd be different temptations and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, that you, you go, because you're always fighting the flesh, man, you know what I'm saying, um, like that, what is it, uh, Galatians 5 and 16, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Could be mistaken, but Lord, give us spirit. Yeah, yeah, it should be that. You know what I'm saying? Because and, and that's that's the whole point of us being in these chains of darkness. And while Paul said in like Romans 7 chapter, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, inwardly I want to do good, but it, he said, I want to do good, but it's something within me, you know what I'm saying, that creates me to do sin, man. And that's this flesh, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the, the flesh belongs to this world. But our spirit belongs unto the Lord. So you always want to have that battle between the two, you know? Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. Now, the works of the... Uh, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? That's the whole thing about being led in the spirit. You know, when it's time for spiritual things to get done, you got to be in the mind of the spirit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, you know, uh, when we going through, you know, our, our daily walks, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing but the world around you. Of course, you want to talk about sports and different things. You know what I'm saying? That's other world. You know what I mean? But when it's time to buckle down and to keep that spiritual mind frame, you got to keep that spiritual mind frame. How they say nowadays, say what, keep that same energy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to keep that spiritual energy up in the midst of all this darkness that's around us, man. We got to know how to dibble and dabble and how to use the world and not abuse the world, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all a part of this thing, man. Yeah, just to throw in there, too, uh, you know, David said, created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. So we got to constantly keep that same energy as when we first came in, which is having the fear of the Lord. You know, you got to constantly endure that because at a, at a time, you know, you get weak. At times, you might get a little, you know, demon to jump upon your ass. And, and you got you to gotta have that, uh, that same energy, which is that true insurance of faith. You know, in the Lord, and you know, when you go off, you know, because we're all not perfect, 
you know? And when you go off, you gotta have that self-conscious in you to say, I ain't doing that no more, you know? And then don't do it. You gotta put up a fight, you know? So all the discomforts here in Babylon, you know, you know, hey, hey, hey brothers, brothers are really fighting through hell, man. We're literally in hell fighting, man. you know? Because this thing is all about discipline, you know what I'm saying? And we all young disciples, man. We be going through our disciplinary training, man. You know what I'm saying? To, to build up, to withstand all the wilds of Satan constantly, man. Uh, keep saying, uh, saying anything. If the people was trying to tend with their father, just cast not away their form, your confidence, which are great recompense of reward. So you don't want to, the, the most highest confidence you have is when you came into this truth, man. You know, you don't want to cast off that confidence. You want to stay, you want to stay in the spirit. Right now it's going to fall season, and you might have players who, they, they get in their ass, they might lose confidence. That fucks up your game, man. When you lose confidence like that. But if you can keep your confidence, you continue to have that high goal, man. And you, and you continue to play good, you get it, you got it. It's the same thing with this truth, man. You want to have that confidence, you have the same with me, you get it, you got it. Corinthians 10 and 13 again, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is com common to men. For the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that uh, ye are able. But exactly what? He said what? The, the Most High is faithful and won't give you nothing that you basically can't handle. They said in the world all day, but the Lord won't give you nothing that you can't handle. The Lord won't put you in a situation you can't handle, but you can put yourself in a situation you can't handle. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's how it is, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Lord will be there and yeah, put something in front of you, see how you want to do. You get quiet, but you want to get deep in the water. So now you're touching the Lord's hand. So now you put yourself in a situation where you're like, you don't want to get bit, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Satan, the guy was shy, you know, fasting for those 40 days or 40 nights, you know, because that's how Satan comes. Satan's going to come to where you weak. You know what I'm saying? And Satan knows your weakness. So he's going to use that avenue to try to infiltrate your temple. But even when um, Satan said to Yahweh Shai, uh, command these stones be made bread. And he said, and, and then Yahweh Shai battled Satan with the scriptures, pretty much saying, uh, man shall not live by bread alone. And basically saying, tip not the Lord, man. You know? So how are we supposed to combat Satan when he tries to infiltrate our temple? By word, man. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. That's not only talking about these darkest hours during the time of Jacob's trouble, but that's everyday life, man. You know, walking, walking in the spirit, walking in the walking in the spirit, so you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh, man. You know, as the scripture says. But, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it? All right, that's the point on that. Um, also, one more. This is on Second Peter chapter two, verse nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. Hey, that's the spirit. Matter of fact, hey, that was on the right hand, but I wanted you to start at uh, verse 4. Son, son. Because, you know, leading, in, leading into the scripture, you know, Lot was an example, you know, of him having to deal with the madness and the homosexuality of nature in that particular moment, as we got to deal in his present time, man. Go ahead. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 4. For if the Most High spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness. In which we are. We are those angels that's been cast down in these chains of darkness. That's why, you, you know, you got brothers that's sick. You know, brothers is at a, local, a very low condition, man. You know, go ahead. Into the chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Mm -hmm. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. That's right, because the first world was delivered by water. You know, one purifying agent. And the Lord's going to destroy this, the, the, the second earth, 
by way of fire, which is another purifying agent. Go ahead. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Mm -hmm. Of the ungodly, man. Go ahead. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. That's right. So Sodom and Gomorrah was nothing but an example of how not to behave, man. And what is America doing? Following in the same footsteps. That's why the scriptures say for that place spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. You know, because it's mirroring the same wickedness that those ancient uh, kingdoms have done, man. That's why that same judgment that fell upon Sodom and Gomorrah is going to fall upon this place America, but worse, man. You know, the, the Lord said for uh, uh, for that day, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was tolerable, you know, compared to what the Lord got coming here, man. Go ahead. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. That's right, he vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. All that homosexual, who knows what Lot was hearing, man. A lot of, a lot of, yeah, Satan, yeah. Oh, seeing, it's a lot here. Yeah, well, even what he was saying. You know, sometimes you're watching certain reality TV shows, your spirit gets vexed. You see two faggots walking down the street, hold their hands, even kissing. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit gets vexed, man. Hey, 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 Lot probably saw two children. Since it was the norm in the city, oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was probably two eight-year-olds yeah. tonguing and kissing on each other, flamboyant, walking down in the neighborhood, man. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Or through the alleyways and shit. Yeah, oh, yeah walking down the alley, you saw a man getting raped, man, because it's mm -hmm. safe to cry them, uh, you know, to cry side on the road of them that cry out. Because why was they crying out? Every time a new person came to the city, they wanted to rape them, man, just with the two angels. That's what happened with them. It was like they, they wanted to know them, man. So every time a traveler passed through, in fact, he was raping them, man. So he probably walked past the alley and saw that, man. Hey, another thing, too, reminds me of the image of that, even though it's despicable. But um, when you watch um, Spart Spartans, and, and remember Spartacus. The, Sp Spartacus, with, with Spartacus, and you know the scene where where it's like they just freely two men and they're, they're burning lust toward each right. other doing it. Right. So you can imagine Lot walking down the street in the alley where you're hearing the men mourning and shit like that. It's just right. every day, man. You know? Man. Vex, man. Uh, and delivered just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous, for that righteous man dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, <laughs> and seeing and hearing, <laughs> madness, man, unrighteousness, filthiness, abomination, man. And what this place is worse, man. This place is worse, and what we have to bear all of that madness. And they probably live right next to each other, house to house, oh, you know, yeah. listening to all that stuff, man. Hey, oh, another, man. Uh, another thing too, whenever we camp, when, whenever we're camping. We're not even talking about the situation or the subject of homosexuality, but when two men or two women walk past us that are homosexual, what they do, they throw it in our faces. Right, it's right. like, right. you know, all in our faces, little Uzi verts, yeah. you know, all in our faces to, to provoke us right. to talk about them, right. you know, and we ain't even be on the subject sometimes, but then we go, look at this, you know? And they, and, and they want to uh, shame us for using the F bomb. Yeah, you yeah. can't say the F word yeah, anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah. they want to they wanna put give strikes, yeah. you know, and, 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 and prevent you from going on live on your channel because you're using an F bomb. I want to say it. Just yeah, no, 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 I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to say it. You know what I'm saying? But it, it, this is what this place is coming to, man. What, what you so call, uh, according to the amendments or the Constitution, you having free speech ain't so free, man, because you're not able to say what you want to say. You know, and that's them slowly bringing it in. Yeah. You, think, you, can add, you can imagine how many diseases was, was in there as well, man. Because mm -hmm. a lot of diseases come from that faggot you made from Slocky. From, no. from that stuff, man, it slipped out. It's cool. The Lord wanted yeah, to come out. Yeah. yeah. The Lord wanted to come out. Faggot tree. Faggot tree. Yeah. 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 The yeah. act of being a. They got it on commercial, man. It comes on commercials. Of an HIV prevention pill, man. Right. And you gotta take oh, it yeah. every single day. Every day you gotta take it. That's where you can freely do that wickedness, man. Right. So this place is worse than Sodom and Gomorrah because they got things to prevent the diseases that the Lord brings in front of That shit don't even prevent it selling a fucking commercial. I see that shit like a hundred times when I'm watching TV. You can't watch shit. 
I don't even really watch TV for this app. But even on the apps, you know, they got to have the commercials and shit. And they keep showing you, uh, I'll tell you the truth about it for prep. And a fucking, uh, uh, a straight dancing faggot, some transvestite, and then another faggot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they all send they take you, man, I'm like, this some fucking bullshit. Real quick, when I was in college, right, uh, before I came into the truth, you know, like, 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 uh, real quick, like, when I was in college in the world, and before I came into the truth, you know, it was a situation that was going on every night in the showers. So when you wake up in the morning, you want to take a shower, it was shit on the shower floor. So, you know, at the time, everybody thinking on the floor, like somebody had purposely doing this to be an asshole. But come to find out, that's where the two homos would go. Because what happens, shit would be left there at the end. And that's when we found out. And this was when I was in the world. Because we thought people was being assholes and just doing it to mess with niggas. You know what I'm saying? So we found out it was the two faggots that was secretly we're going to the showers three, four in the morning and do they that shit and then that will be left behind. The details, man. So that's what happened to a magic box. This is definitely good on the college, on the on the, in the, in the showers and shit. But um imagine lot, you know, having to walk through the city and we see dog shit laying there. We see human shit. You know? That shit is disgusting, man. That's why you gotta be put to death, man. Oh man. That's really disgusting, yeah. Like, hey, that's the that's the fouls and the wickedness of this world Babylon, man. You know? It's comfort, yeah. And that, you know, also goes into the um, that, that demasculinization that's going on on a, on a large scale. And they're catching the um I'm at at, at uh, damn near preschool uh, age, man. Of mm -hmm. uh, letting them uh, let letting the children know that this is the new normal normalcy now. You know? See, and when you check it out too, even with these reality shows, because I check them out from time to time. Like the brother said, they push forth that homosexual homosexual nature on those reality TV shows, exploiting so-called black men. Mm. Not only are they black men, they're dark-skinned men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and every season, especially Love and Hip Hop, that's the one they like to use. Every time it's a new season, it's a homosexual, they gotta have a dark-skinned man being the homosexual hey, man. What, what they say, the, 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 what, yeah, what they say, the, the, the new gay is new black, the, oh, what is it? the black, the black, the new black, but damn, it's a saying, oh, yeah, it's a saying that um, the, the, we all yeah. know that being, black, being gay is the new black, there's something yeah. to that nature, it's a saying right. on it, it's right. a saying, yeah. and, that's, yeah. and that's all of us trying, that's, that, that's them trying to demasculinize the Israelite man right. on a whole, but right. I got something real quick, this is um, 2 Timothy chapter 2, oh. verse 3, right. now therefore, in your hardness, as a good soldier of Hamashiach and Hawashai. Um, you know, and, that, and that's basically, we the only real men left down here, man. The men that you see on the um, highways and, and, and coaches, man. We're the, we're the only real men. We're the last of the Mohegans, man, which is uh, Lord Will. We, we are a part of the Lord's elect, man, right? We know, and it says, no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a good soldier. So we do everything and, and, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to please him, man. And we go out and, and do this work, man. And it says that we don't we don't entangle ourselves in the affairs of this life, man. What, what is that? Homosexuality, man. Uh, being out in, in the world, man. Because this is a spiritual movement, man. So we stay uh, uh, entrenched, man, in, in this truth, man. We have to, man. You know? Hey, can I say this too? This comfort not only in just homosexuality, but it's this comfort in everything. Just eating and being amongst heathens. It's this comfort, man. Because they are not like us. You know, we have a, another different cloth, man. You know, we, we don't we don't talk like them, we don't act like them, we don't walk like them. We don't even eat the same foods, man. You know, with the same flavors, man. So being even amongst them, you know, here it is, you gotta be discomfort whenever you go to a place of business. Hey, I wanna go to the gym. And I go in the locker room, I'm in discomfort, man. You got Israelites, I'm in discomfort of our own people. I mean, I mean, I mean, go to the gym and you got men walking around butt ass naked, man. You know, like it's gymnasts, <laughs> you know, taking it back to the Greek, man. You know, so it's like, come on, man. It's discomfort on all levels. Even, even individuals walking around in their pride, man. That's one thing that bothers me, like, you know, uh, Jake, you know, you understand why Esau's proud, that's his nature. But Jake just walking around with that arrogant attitude, man. You know, flossing, 
for, for, for likes and thumbs up, man. And hearts and hearts. And, you know, that, that shit bothers me. You know, doing shit for attention purposes only. You know? That's discomforting. You know? Hey, that's on all levels. That's levels of our own selves, man. Right. You know? And Jake, you ain't got to pop the piss in the window to go at him. Right. And, and a lot of these Jakes out here, you know, they want to put themselves up on social media, making it, it's, oh, it's all act, man. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these, you know, a paycheck from being homeless, man. You know? <laughs> and, and, and that's the, the truth of it, man. You know? And that's the spirit, because Jake don't be having nothing. So what are you even proud about? You just got some new joys. You're proud about it. Flaws in it. Or maybe some red bottoms. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hope that it's seen is not hope. Yeah, yeah. So what, are you, what, are you, what have you accomplished, man? What are you celebrating? You're just furthermore in debt, man. Yeah, yeah. And when, they get these, um, when they get these material things, the spirit jumps on them, right? Mm -hmm. We were talking about this earlier in camp about a suit. Mm -hmm. You know, when people wear a suit, they got a tie. They yeah, posture yeah, is all of a sudden. Yeah. All of a sudden, they stand next to another Jake next to him that's not dressed like that, and they look down upon yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing. These spirits jump on you. Yeah, sure. You know? Yeah, yeah. 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 Carry vibrations. Carry yeah. All right. Um, verse seven. I'm um, back in um, Second Peter, uh, chapter two, verse seven. And delivered just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling, dwelling among them, and seeing and hearing, vexed his his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation. It's a lot of and how, and how do you, how do you, how are you able to this? Hey, Shalom to the brothers on the comment board. Uh, verse nine, the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust. Oh, con, con, con. Um, I read from seven again. And delivered just Lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with the unlawful deeds. So, so you know Lot was back there gritting his teeth, man. You know, ready to put some shit to death, man. But what he had to bury, man. Because of their unlawful deeds. Like I was saying, how do you know what's unlawful? By reading the scriptures. But what? Jake don't want to read the scriptures. They got that term, you're gonna hide anything from a black man, put it in a book, man. That's why Jake don't know whether they coming and going. That's why Jake don't even know how to earn a dollar today, man. He don't read shit, man. You know, he don't know what's going on. How much more trying to follow the righteousness of the Heavenly Father? You know, Jake loves being wicked. Like they got that another saying, tastes good, you know? So their, their desires is towards wickedness, man. So when it comes to anything righteous being brought towards them, they want to avoid it. You know? Hey, that's the script you say that. I had this conversation with him. And um, talking about females, though. He's an Israelite woman. Yeah. Today, you're trained, you're trained, um, you're trained to, to, let me say this. When, 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 he, when you go out to have fun, what's fun? You having fun is being wicked. Because if it's not being wicked, then it ain't fun. Right. It's like, yo, I ain't have a lit night. This shit was dull, whack came home i ain't even get that drunk it's like in order for people here to enjoy themselves they got to be wicked yeah. when they take the substance of drugs or they drink liquor right. they get to act out be a spirit that they not when they sober right. they wilding out so the next day they could be like yo girl you did this yo dude my dude you was on that right. you know what i'm saying so it's like this world promotes straight up wickedness man and it's discomfort to the lord's elect man and well to the lord too man yeah. you know because that ain't the way we're supposed to actually uh live our live our life and he saw that's he's part of the problem because jake really think that partying every friday saturday getting fresh chasing holes trying to rap become trying to become rappers taking drugs that this is life you got niggas you got niggas here in note that i know that never grew up from high school here it is through high school you live this certain life where you're chasing the holes you're going out every Friday, Saturday, you gotta be fresh, you're going to every bar, every party, popping joint, right? Mm -hmm. These niggas graduated 20 years, 15 years yeah, ago, yeah, 20 yeah. years ago, and they same still same. doing the, the same, same shit, shit. Yeah. As, a, as an 18 year old. Back, Satan. Satan, yeah. Satan, yeah. Satan, yeah. Satan, yeah. Satan, yeah, yeah, and, and, and they go back to the uh, point of like how you was mentioned about like the parties and shit like this. And this is how you know, like, yo, these women is fucking wicked as all fuck. A lot of these, like, now, when you go, this is how you know that women are fucking whores, right? 
Now, the custom in America is when you get married according to the state, right? What everybody do? You have a bachelor party, you have a bachelorette party. Supposed to have strippers, male strippers, supposed to have female strippers, right? These bitches have male strippers. Nine times out of ten, they either, some of them fucking them, and a lot of them is sucking their dick. Yeah. It's this thing called CFNM, Clothed Female Naked Male. What? It's called CFNM, yeah. Clothed Female oh, the Naked clothes, Male. The, the naked. women, the women had their clothes on, but the men that's dancers are naked. Are you naked? Oh. They swing it. They saw them coming from. A lot of them be fucking some of the chicks. And they be having, they got chicks to just be sucking them off. Mad chicks just like in a row, just be sucking them off at these bachelorette parties and shit like this, man. And, 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 and yeah. then they go home like nothing ever happened. Oh, yeah, it was just a bachelorette party. You, you know. See, you see, and, and that's the wickedness because here it is, according to the ancient world, we know that sex is, is, is the act of marriage. You right. know, and, and you know, you, you're her husband, of course, and if she doesn't bleed, well, you know she was a hoe. Now here it is, in today's society, before you actually get married according to the state, you know, according to Esau's laws, it's just a, a, a rite of passage to be a whole one more time. Right, right, right. right. You know, that's all it is. But no, she's going to be still tricking off while she's in, during the marriage any goddamn way. They just want to look good for the outside people, like, I'm married, I finally got the ring. It's all for kicks and giggles, man. Yeah, you got these bachelorette parties, and you got the woman giving it one last time to be a whore, yeah, like yeah. you said. So she's slutting and fucking, trying to get it all out. Because tomorrow, is a, well, the next, her wedding's coming up the next day, and she's gonna be dressed in all white, and she's gonna start crying in front of them and how beautiful it is. But last night, you was just a whore that yeah, yeah. wiped it from mouth. Reading you know? up, saying I've done no wickedness. Yeah, trying to get it all out, I'm getting stuffed like a turkey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You see how you might be? Wicked. I appreciate it. This goes to, uh, are you saying niggas gotta have wickedness to have fun, man? Proverbs chapter 15 verse 21 says folly is joy to him that is destitute of wisdom but a man of understanding walketh upright right man folly is, is all foolishness right so niggas that don't have wisdom doing foolish things is joy to them yeah, yeah, I mean they yeah. enjoy themselves when they do foolish shit man like getting into fights point besides fights man yeah. no flexing and doing all this and that they, they, they enjoy it hey my sin is joy it's the spirit, man, because I was just speaking about this. And I was, uh, you know, us brothers in this truth, it's not exciting no more because the Lord woke us up. Before when you was young and dumb and you was full of folly like the brother bringing out, you know, everything was cool. Yo, we about to smoke. Yo, we call you. Come get me, come get me, yo. Yo, I'm about to come over here. Like, and all that. And, I, and, it, and it makes perfect sense. Now that we're growing under the Lord's uh, word and, 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 and blew his breath upon us and woke us up, the Lord took out folly from us, right. so we're bitter now. Right. Because we like, look, man, this shit gotta go. Yeah. The scriptures say, surely your oppression make of a wise man mad. Yeah. That's why doing shit that we did when we wasn't in the truth, it was exciting. But now it's like, I ain't all uh, being bent to go to do that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's wicked. Yeah. Yeah. Proverbs 15 and 14. It says, the heart of him that has understanding. Thanks a lot, kid. Now say this real quick. Because a, bro a brother in his truth with the word, it, it, it's, it's hard for him to let himself go. Yeah, yeah. We always constantly speak, thinking, and, and, and always right. in the spirit. So you can't just let yourself take a drug and then let yourself go. And then you just, you just go. <laughs> All that nigga shit that you used to do and be like, yo, what, what we doing? All right. And like, we, we, we so, the Lord gave us that knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. So, so for us, it sucks here. It's ass, man. You know what I'm saying? The only time you really can enjoy is we we with brothers. You know, you get your little moments of pleasure, get your woman, or you might go out do some night, but that's all temporary. Right, right. Remember when you was before in the world, you know, everything was funny. You always gotta get up with your niggas. You always be, you felt as though you was missing out if you wasn't up with niggas, getting up. You know, every little chick that walked by, yo, yo, what's up, how you doing? What's up? Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, how you doing? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, in the worldly mindset, man, that shit is crazy, man. I'm glad the Lord delivered us from that shit, man. You know? Proverbs chapter 15 and 14. It says, the heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish feedeth on food. Yeah, man, that's the wicked niggas, man. Let's, let's go in the Walmart. People stuff out their shopping cart to see what they gonna do, man. And they feed off that foolishness, man. That's why niggas gonna get put to death, man. 
And that's heavy. They feed off of it. Meaning they can't live without foolishness. They gotta indulge in some wickedness to get through the day. You know? They got something called mischief night. You know, that that's you feeding on foolishness, man. Yeah, the day before Halloween. I remember as a youngin doing some nut ass shit, man. That's because what? We had the understanding, man. We had to be born again. You know? Uh, this is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I spake as hell. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Mm. Okay? Mm. You know, that's why all this stuff is foolishness to us now. Remember, I can think of, you know, people going into uh, uh, a supermarket and taking stuff out of people saying, you know, in, in the parking lot. <laughs> that was so funny, you know what I mean? But what? When, 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 when you get uh, bestowed upon this knowledge and understanding, you know what I mean? All that stuff is foolishness, man. It's all childish. Think about it. Smoking. Cigarettes, smoking weed and all this stuff. You know, people been doing that shit since it was like 13, 12 years old. You thought it was cool. So here it is, you, you 30, 40, yep. sometimes 50 years old, doing the same habits that you've been doing since you were 14 years yeah. old, man. Hey, you, you know how many times over here, no, it's old niggas, you might be cool with them, but they still try to keep themselves young. He's about 48, about to be 50 years old, and he like, he think he's blood, he comes through, he's having niggas. That's what they're doing. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. The whole gang banging activity. That's childish, man. You have grown ass men. Like, come on. First, you never threw you never threw up nor twisted your fingers once I knew you were middle school, high school, even approaching college. It is you touching 30, you throwing up gang signs. You crit now. Call them clout chasers. <laughs> People just want to look like somebody. People want to be feared and re, uh, re revered as something. Like yeah. Jake want to be a part of something. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is, man. Yeah, you, you got grown ass men with full beards, big and strong, but think as a child, man. Do childish things, man. You know, you can't even talk to them. You gotta talk to them like a child. You know, that you gotta, you gotta, uh, uh, instead of rebuking them, you gotta try to tell them like you're talking to a child. Because their mind will be, yo, what you saying though? Yo, you can't tell them grown men. Exactly. But you gotta talk to them like, yo, bro, look, haha, -ha, hey, look, but you know, like, you gotta kind of flip it up in order to get to get to him. So he don't look at you as like, you know what I'm saying? Like you trying to be his father. Right. Like, grown ass men are children, they, man. Their mind is full of emotions, man. You know, one thing that I that I was I was just thinking about it earlier today. Now, uh in no way, shape, or form of you having an argument. I mean, listen, if it's a sensible argument, there's no way that you should lose an argument with your woman over having a discussion about something, right? But how do most men lose the arguments or the discussion with a woman? Because they let their emotions take over and they stop thinking logically. Because a lot of times you think certain shit, but the woman know how to flip shit and they real manipulative. You know what I'm saying? So if you get caught up in your emotions, she's that's her, that's her avenue. You step into her world. So now you let her take the conversation and switch it all into some emotional shit. And now you looking like you the fucked up one. You know what I'm saying? And they really the fucked up one. But when we keep it to reasoning and logic and, and thinking how a man's supposed to think, we can win 100% of the time, man. Look, it's, a, it's a demon spirit on people, and especially the black woman or the woman, you know, you deal with on the woman, period. It's this thing where they upset about something, they don't even know what it is. And they put it upon you. And as soon as you get upset, they're not upset no more. It's like it just goes away from them. And now you just mad, like, man, fucking stuck, man. And it's like, that's where she wanted you to go. As soon as you got emotional, you know? And, and women be doing that. They don't know, sometimes they don't know why they angry, but they just want to take it out on you. And as soon as she gets you worked up and you get worked, it's like, I, I, I ain't even, that's it. It's like, you just took it good. Or now suddenly you ain't feeling it. It's like, you just being easy, bitch, you know? <laughs> That's, that's the spirit of Satan, man, because that's that pact that, 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 that she made with all these things, 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 but we are not of the, in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh dwelling you, 
now if any man have not the spirit of, of Hamashiach, he is none of his. But we are we are in uh, 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 the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and for us to really uh, not get caught up in, in this fleshly thing, as far as uh, uh, a carnal argument, man, yeah. and let our emotions uh, uh, take the get the best of us, man. We stay in the spirit, and we know how to control our our, uh, our spirit, man. You know, that's how we win. You know, it's like this is a spiritual warfare, man. So even on the level to where uh, Eve may want to take it, you know, we got to remain spiritual, man. You know, that's how we win the war. This is how we go into right. overcome, man. But we're dealing with Esau, man. You know? Oh, that's what I want to do. Um, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. Because it's polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. So pretty much it's coming out of the philosophies and the ways of America, man. You know, above all, it's gonna it, 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 if you indulge in it, you know, it's going to pollute you. You know, that's why, matter of fact, somebody grabbed 2 Peter 2 and 20. Yahweh by Shemi Awashai called this out of this world. I'm saying when, you, when, when you're not in the midst of something, you know, you get the better view of it. I'm saying because we outside looking in. You know, and the Lord called us out of the world, and we see it clear. People are mad, man. These people are delusional, man. Every time I walk past, walk, walk past somebody, delusional. Oh, he's trying to be a rapper, delusional. Oh, he wants to be a poor, delusional. She walking with blind hair. Delusional. Delusional. Everybody's delusional. They're mad, man. See, opposed to somebody getting tattooed. Delusional. Yeah. Everyone's delusional, man. You know, and you got some people that's worse, man. Some people are so delusioned that they believe a lie is the truth, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? The Lord got two thirds in the sunken place, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in the sunken place. <laughs> hey, you living up. Oh, you got that? Second Peter 2 and 20? Second Peter 2 and 20. Uh, it says, For if after they had escaped the pollution of the world. That's right. So after we have escaped the pollution. So we in the present moment to where we escape the pollution. You know what I'm saying? You know, the ways and the philosophy and the state of mind. Go ahead. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Mm. That's right. So what? Here it is, you them fallout boys, man. You know, a lot of you fallout boys who once tasted up this heavenly gift and you turn your back from it, look, your end is going to be far worse than the beginning because why? You know better, man. You knew better. You know? The scriptures speak upon how it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. I believe a lot of you fallout boys, that's your fate, man. Because why? You, you crucified the Lord again. You know, that, that's the Lord seeking revenge, man. It is somebody, there's a group of individuals, you know, here it is, you're getting jumped, you know, and then you see certain individuals helping you get jumped, but you're not going to get some revenge, man. That's what you, a lot of you guys do to the Lord once you turn your back upon him. Turn your back upon him. You betray them, man. The Lord said, but it was best that that man wasn't born. So that's why I personally believe the Lord is going to deal with you personally. Man. All of you fall out for it. You know, so what the, like the scriptures say, once we escape the pollutions of the, of the world and you get entangled back therein, man, the forest is going to be that much worse, man. You know? Uh -huh. So Hebrews chapter 10, verse 38. Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Draw back from what? Karate class? No, man. <laughs> Draw back from the contract that you signed with the Pittsburgh Steelers? No, man. It's talking about this word. You know, the scriptures. Because when you put your hand to the plow, you know, and, and you take hold of the uh, the Passover, which is the Passover, you know, you, you're making a pact with the Lord, man. You know? You signed and sealed, man. You bought with a price, man. So once you turn your back on that, contract that you signed spiritually with the Lord the Lord ain't gonna have no pleasure in you man the Lord is not gonna give you the kingdom on the first go round the Lord's gonna have you eat a missile man the Lord could may have you taste all of the place that's wicked pestilence plagues you know being tortured in a concentration camp being devoured 
and, 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 and shredded by a beast newly created, then have a missile finish your ass off, man. That's the power of the Lord, man. The, 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 hey, man, the scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, man. You better respect the Lord. Respect means to what? Look back. What the Lord do to the old world? He flooded it, man. Hmm. Only saves eight souls, man. You shall seek death and not find it. That's how bad it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. The Lord did that before. A lot of you Lieutenant Danites out there, man. Hmm. You know, not as in Dan, the tribe of Dan, but that's coming from the uh, Forrest Gump. Because he was a case and example of him wanting to die. He was pissed off that Forrest Gump saved him, man. Because that, in Revelation the ninth chapter, that go to World War I. A lot of people's getting decapitated, man, losing limbs, wanting to die, and then that the Lord's going to bring that back on a large scale, man. You know? But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. That's what it's about, man. Believing to the saving of your soul. Because you got a lot of people that believe for a certain amount of time. That's why the scriptures say, he that endure to the end the same shall be saved, man. But what we got to believe into the saving of our soul, our souls ain't saved yet. We ain't on no chariots. You know, we ain't got new bodies. We're not perfected yet. We got to be believing, keep on believing to the saving of our souls, man. That's when we can breathe, man. That's when Yahweh Shah, when he gave up the spirit, he said it is done. Even with Apostle Paul, you know, um, what's that? First Timothy 4 and 8. Somebody grab that? I believe it's first Timothy 4 and 8. You know, the Apostle Paul spoke of, spoke of, spoke about a crown that he was going to receive, man. You know? And all those that love the Lord's coming, man. That's what we're waiting upon. But what? We got a job to do before we can obtain that, man. Before we can have that side relief. We got to endure that side of despair, man. And which we currently going through. Got it. First Timothy 4 and 8. First Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. It says, for bodily exercise profit is little. Five seconds, Timothy. Second Timothy chapter 4 verse 8. It says, henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Oh, that's six, a lot. Uh, Second Timothy 4 and 6. For I am now ready to be offered in the time of my departure at hand. Yeah, yeah. For I am now ready to be offered. Offered as what? A sacrifice, man. But that's what it's about. This truth is about a sacrifice, man. You gotta be ready for that offering. Go ahead. And the time of my departure is at hand. Departed from what? The, the world, man. This you know, go ahead. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. See, the Apostle Paul was confident. Why? Because he put in that work, man. He put in that pain, man. So he was confident. He didn't have no second guesses. He wasn't worried, man. The Lord increased him at his last end, man. And the Lord's going to do it again. Go ahead. I have kept the faith. He kept the faith. He believed to the saving of his soul, man. Go ahead. Henceforth. There is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. So for him keeping the faith, what's going to happen? What's the reaction of the Apostle Paul keeping the faith? A crown is laid up for him, man. And when the, hey, when the Lord, when the Lord places a crown upon your head, nobody can take it off, man. He's second in command. Nobody can say nothing when the second command puts a crown upon your head. That's what a feeling, man. Lit. Which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, mm -hmm. and not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearance. The elect, man. Because the, the elect is the only one signing and crying for the abominations that be done in the midst You know, the elect are the only ones, you know, waiting upon the Lord. You know, out there on the highways and byways in various weather conditions, dealing with the, the, the madness and the wickedness of our people, man. Look, we, we, we look at the bigger picture, man. You know? We got the vision. Like they like like they say, you can't you can't hit a target you don't see. You know what I'm saying? So what we aim it towards the kingdom. Why? Because we can see it. You know? By way of the scriptures, by having faith, man. See the vision. See the vision. That's it.
The second Ezra chapter chapter two forty two. I Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there there was a young man of 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 a, of a high stature, taller than all the rest. Which is Yahweh Shah. And upon and upon every one of their heads he set crowns, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. That's why we're enduring all of this bullshit, man. So we can receive this joyous moment right here. Tears of joy, go ahead. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that, ha that have put off the mortal clothing mm -hmm. and put on the immortal mm -hmm. and have confessed the name of the Most High. The name, man. You got to confess the name of the Heavenly Father because you got guys out there that's claiming this truth or claiming to be an Israelite speaking of a whole nother name, man. Judgment's gonna fall upon him for that, man. Because Lord wants the credit, man. If an artist has a painting, he wants credit for painting this master, this masterpiece, man. He's gonna have his name at the bottom. That's the Lord, man. The Lord maneuvers in the same way, man. Here it is, if an author writes the sellers, the best-selling book, you know, is he not gonna put his name, the author, who, who, who published the, the number one selling book, man. You think the Lord is any different? You gotta confess the name, man. Hey, if you make a great movie, you know, what happens at the end of the movie? The right. credits. Exactly. The credits, exactly. And also, too, for those that's uh, confused, that's seeking after that certain author, they're gonna ask, well, what's the right. yeah. You know, how can I see more? Exactly. You know? um, um, and have confessed the name of the Most High now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowned them, giving them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the most who they have confessed in the world. Mm -hmm. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. I'm standing stiffly, man. We ain't out here with no lawn chairs, no beast chairs, lounging. We're standing stiff for the name of the Lord, man. Hey, brothers, you got certain brothers out there with back problems. You got certain brothers out there with knee problems, with joint pains. Still standing stiffly, man. You know, because of what? The essence of faith. Those are the individuals, you know, that's going to receive those crowns and those palms, man. Because they showcasing faith by their works, man. Lord willing, we all are part of that remedy. Go ahead. Stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. Tell a friend to tell a friend, man. You know, here it is. Ever saw all of these uh, majestic visions. You know, we receiving it, and what we telling the views, man. The same vision. You know, that's what's going to fall upon the light if we endure these these harsh realities of Babylon. Like everything that's been getting on, you know, just talking about the bear in the hell, man. And you know, brothers speak so passionately. You know, if somebody speaks passionately about anything, it's because they, they really into it and they're obsessed with it and there's other things that they mad about man what are we mad about we're mad about this, these fucking conditions that we got to deal with man how the brothers break it this, different things down man. everything we got to deal with within this world gives us the right to fucking complain man. we got every right to the point you know, uh, what is it daniel 9 and 12 under the whole, whole earth no other nation has been done but what has been done unto israel man we've been going through the fucking rain up man we deserve to complain man so we complain to our heavenly Father, he's going to deliver us with the son Yahweh Shabbat and all of this shit. Thanks a lot, man. Because the brother mentioned passion. I was reading a book by Robert Kiyosaki, right? And he said, to be successful, passion is necessary. And it's mixed with love and anger, man. Love and anger. That's what that's what breeds passion, man. In order for you to be successful, because that's what's going to keep you dry. You know, based on, uh, to obtain, you know, that goal, man. So it's necessary. Like, you got a job. There it is. You would like you would rather be self-made. It is you would like to be self-employed, so to speak. Right? I'm not gonna say self-employed, self-employed, right? Here it is, 
you're working at a current job, the job is pissing you off, the boss is pissing you off, the people you work with is pissing you off. You know what I'm saying? However, you may have a love for a certain certain thing that's going to generate income, income for you to be self-employed. So the two combined is going to push you further for you to obtain that goal. That's how we feel about this truth, man. You know, the Lord put us to keep us angry. And the love that we have for the brotherhood, you know, certain um, blessings that the Lord may give me, keeps us with that balance to restore us that goal. Chapter 18, verse 7. It shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them. I will tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth. So this goes to show you, like the brother was saying, that the elect, you know what I'm saying, is going to go through uh, trials and tribulations until the very end, man. They still got to cry unto the Lord. You know, but the Lord, and then the Lord is hearing you, man. Especially when you're going through that fire, man. And when you read the scriptures, the scriptures tell you that, man. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, 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 they didn't hesitate to pray to the Lord, and the Lord uh, delivered them uh, right so. You know, uh, the uh, history of Suzanne and so on and so forth. Yeah, I got a quick piece here. Uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 51 and 19. It says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord of hosts is his name. And now the point that I wanted to get out of there, it says the portion of Jacob is not like them, man. All right, so the elect is not like, you know, the rest of the niggas that Esau is used to, you know, and they able to, to deal with, you know, they able to do certain things, provoke, they able to, um, you know, uh, shut down, you know, lie, demonize, but we're not like them. This, you're dealing with a breed of uh, the Lord's chosen, man. That's out here pushing his work week in and week out because it's of the most high, man. You know, so all the tactics and shit they do, you know, all you can do is just bring discomfort, but the Lord is the one that gives us the strength to keep going. You know, I got another preset real quick. This is Ezekiel uh, chapter 9 and 4. You know, because wow, he's supposed to be crying out. So it says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sighed and that cried for all the abominations that be done in the midst of us. And we understand that word mark goes into the word, the Hebrew word, the wa, which means exempt. Because these men are the ones that's crying out for all the abominations that's done in the midst of their faces, man. You know, the, four, the, the men through the four corners of the earth, the 144,000. The elect, man, starting with those men, you know, and then even you got the women and children, you know, so you got certain women that do cry out too, because your prayers count, man. Put them prayers up to Yahweh Bashem Shai, man, and cry out so the Lord destroy this place and our kingdom be here sooner, you know. That's it. Second Corinthians four six, for God commanded the light to shine out of darkness, that shine in our heart to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the faces, in the face, Lord, in the face of Yahweh Shad. But we have this treasure in earthen vessel, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Right, so we were given this treasure for a kingdom in earthen vessels, man. You know what I'm saying? A, a clean body, man. So that the excellency may be of the Lord and not of us. Because the Lord could have put her stay on the earth you know what I'm saying just sp uh, spiritual power bodies already, right. but then people will be looking up to us to give the glory. Yeah. Now nah, the glory got to be given unto the Lord. That's why the Lord said in these chains of darkness, the Lord like y'all was already perfect. All right, now I got to put y'all down, and now I got to make y'all less than perfect. Hey, because guess what? People gonna say, well, how did these people come out of that? Mm -hmm. It was him. Thou yeah. and Yahweh shot. Exactly. Oh, exactly. They shall be amazed yeah. at the strangers of the salvation. Exactly. Why they gonna be amazed? They ain't seen nothing like it. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And then, and then when you think about it once again, the uh, uh, treasure was complete. Read it again. Oh, the beginning part. Second Corinthians, back at Second Corinthians four and verse six, for God who commanded the light to. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the powers may be of God, and not of us. Right. And then when you think about it on another level, like we were given this treasure in, in earthen vessels. 
And you said all the time, like, yo, we just regular dudes from, like, hood area, urban areas, whatever you want to call it. Walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who would think that that the Lord gave this treasure to little old us? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, who would think that? Like, poor. Exactly. Poor. Just the average dude who, you know what I mean, you just walking down the street and consider probably a nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is this thing? You know what I'm saying? Like, we've been given that treasure, man. The Lord woke our minds up, you know what I'm saying, to give us his grace, man, to give us his mercy, man. That's a beautiful thing. So that's the, out of the midst of all his hell, that's the one true thing that we have to look for, man, out of everything, man. Not next week's paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Not the not the uh, a football game, not a basketball game. We look forward to the kingdom. We look forward to the treasure that we have mentally, but we look forward to it happening physically, man. Hey, you know, in the this. world to come. And I say this too. He got celebrities that think they're the chosen. They bless. They think they bless. You know? You know, because why? I was, you know, celebrity, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a special one, chosen one from my hood. I put my hood on. You know, niggas respect me. You know, I'm getting money. I'm rich forever. I'd never be broke. They think they special. Yeah. You know? Never never first off, again. first yeah. off, I like to thank God for this yeah. Academy Award. Yeah. And uh, you know, without God and everything, it couldn't be possible. But I like to thank my trainers, my manager, and so on and so forth. Yeah. You ain't, yeah. man, you ain't used the Lord to get to that place, man. You use Satan to get to that place, man. Yeah, because the, spe the special ones are the are the are the poor, man. That's that, that James two, that two and five. Yeah. Uh, somebody grab that real quick. Box the shot. Be real quick. Be real quick too. You got you got to do Marco Fultz, man. He was first round draft pick to the 76ers. He say he say when he, when his name got called, he said I feel like God called my name. Because you got drafted to the NBA, bro. You serious? You could get hurt like Gordon Hayward, man. Yeah, yeah. You could get your leg fucking broke, man. God didn't call your name. Satan called you, man. Well, he came to give you a present, yo. You know? Bring that out. Game two and four. Hearken, my beloved brethren. I have not God chosen the poor to lock you. Hearken, my beloved brethren. I have not God chosen the poor of the world of this world, rich in faith. Hold up. It said, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith? So the Lord ain't dealing with the rich. He can easily gave his word to a Jay-Z that has already a voice, a platform. He could have gave it to whoever, you know? T.D. Jakes, uh, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, you know what I mean? They already got the mental, the, yeah. the, the mega church. They yeah. already got the millions of, of, of listeners and views. Yeah, and that's the thing. You people look at us and see, all right, they ain't nobody to be really taking heed to. They ain't, look, look what they got. They don't look like nothing. Nah, they just wrong. Ain't nobody hearing that. But y'all go to the mega church and, Party your ass off, so, man. You, you finish it up, bro. Huh? It's crazy. It reminds me of um, Indiana Jones. Uh, I, I believe which one? I think it's a crusade where you had like the cup of eternal life. It was the cup of the Son of, of the Most High, the Lord Jesus Christ. And it was on a table, the Holy Grail. And it was on a table full of all these other vessels dipped in gold and all these. Um, oh, that's what you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my very first lesson when I came. When I, when, that was my very first lesson. You had a table. It was a holy grail of all these things decked in gold, emeralds, string, and knives, you know. And, and the bad guy, the villain, he goes up, he picks up the cup. It's real golden, it's nice, it has all these emeralds, it looks like a, like a, like a rich man's cup. He fills it full of water, drinks it, and then perishes, and he dies. And Indiana Jones surveys the table. What's that cup back there? He picks up his old, dusty carpenter's cup, man. You know, and that was the one. They filled it with water, and he lived, and he came to the right. You know, so it's, all, it's not what you expect, man. Yeah. Well, go ahead, huh? Have not God chosen the rich? Hearken, my beloved brethren. Wait, read it again. Read it again. James two and five. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Have not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom? See, and the heirs of the kingdom. Meaning we're joint unto Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the king, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai is the son of the Most High, man. All right, go ahead. Which he have promised to them that love him. Hey, those the men that followed Yahweh Shai when he was there. And he kept uh, his teachings all the way to their end. And now these men are back. Doing it again for the last time, man. You know, it's the last time. Hey, because, because, like, because we're 
when you make it, you know what I'm saying, you only you only gonna wanna bring people with you that's solid, man. Yeah. You know, and, and, and your character is tested by way of tribulation, man. That's why the Lord God is going through all of this, all of these tribulations, man. And the apostle Paul said, if I glory, I will glory in my tribulations, man. You know, because he understands the, the meaning behind it, man. You know? So like, cause because here it is. And say you make it, you know, you got some snake, snake ass individual amongst you, he's gonna attempt to rob you, man. Or he might try to line you up to get robbed, man. You know, or, or, or creep in your riches. Here it is, you got him in your house, he gonna creep into the room and steal your jewelry. Or you may have some cash laying around, he just pocket something on, he ain't gonna notice. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want them type of individuals around you. That's why the adversity it's going to test who's going to be with your hour side, man. And they're going to be battle tested and proven in that day during the hour of, the, during the hour of temptation. Tried and fire. Tried and fire, man. The scriptures speak upon tried and refined, man. You know, as that pure gold, man, in which we hope and pray to be a part of. He said, if thou get it to friends, who's proven who first? Uh, it's good to test. The scriptures also say how a um, friend cannot. Um, Enemy cannot be hit in adversity. Mm. No? So, a friend no. Yeah, no. Oh, no. So our enemy, Slocka. Enemy cannot be hit in adversity. Oh, yeah, okay. The enemy, okay. yeah, a friend, uh, you know, in adversity. I, I forgot how it goes, but it goes up to that extent how enemies shall, uh, um, cannot be hit in shall adversity. Be known in adversity. Yeah, I'm like getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Sirach for Ecclesiastes chapter six. Um, I'll read seven. Uh, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Uh, what was it? Oh, oh okay. Um, yeah. Um, let me see this. Um, and verse nine. And there is, a, and there is a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will continue in the day of thy affliction. Huh? Another one? Yeah. Second <laughs> <laughs> Corinthians 4 and uh, 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. Hey, we are troubled on every side, but not distressed. Okay. Well, hey, it's a lot. You shoot the meat off of that bone. We don't, we ain't stressed out. Yeah, yeah. Brothers, brothers, brothers is able to sleep at night. Exactly. The Lord got it to where brothers is able to sleep at night for the most part. You know? We ain't bugging out. We ain't jumping off of buildings. No. We're dealing with it. Yeah, it's a lot. This is... We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. So what? Every side. Not one side, not two sides. This ain't no triangle. This ain't no fucking rectangle. Nah. Every, every avenue you could possibly think of. Every circumference or every point of our life. You know what I'm saying? It, it's shit that we dealing with, man. You know what I'm saying? If, if you were your brother that, that got kids, I'm sure you, that shit can't be perfect. I'm saying shit with your woman, that can't be perfect. Your job situation more than likely ain't perfect. You probably hate what the fuck you do, or what you gotta make a fucking living being oppressed by your boss. You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably got a lot of faggots all around you and shit that you gotta fucking deal with because you live in this society. You know what I'm saying? Which is a, a vexation to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? You come home after your two weeks or your week, whenever you get paid, and you look at your check. And the government and took out some extra shit and was like, what the fuck are you trying to figure out bills and you got like $50 left after you pay all your fucking bills, man? Hey, hey, That's hey. every side, man. Credit, credit fuck yeah. you up, man. You fuck up your credit and now they garnishing your wages. Yeah, all type of shit. You know, you got your woman. I don't know if you may mention it, but you might have a woman she's giving you up. You might have a son that's bad as hell. You got to go to, you know, discipline them or try to, you got to deal with them, you know, hell. That was very hard. Your car got trouble. Your uh, your fucking what's the shit that went? Um, uh, what's that shit? Uh, the uh, water pump might go. All the all the eighty degrees come right out. You know, tired. tired. Your legs and your back. Yeah, yeah, man. Can't you, you ain't can't deal with these battling the swarm of bees. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so every side. Yeah. 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 Yeah
We are perplexed but not in despair. Persecuted but not forsaken. Persecuted but not forsaken. Who then forsake us? What the Lord said, I never have I seen the righteous forsaken of begging bread. So regardless of what, we going to be all right. We going to make it. We going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, that, that's the spirit that we carry, man. You know what I'm saying? That, that we going to make it through. Not by our own will, not by our own conceits, but by trusting in your house, by your house. And that's how we see it, man. That's the only way there is to see it. Because we don't have shit here. I mean, we've been struggling all our fucking lives trying to make something that everything, we fall flat on our face. What do you say? Uh, uh, when you, you make your wages, it comes into a bag of holes, man. You don't see where the fuck your money going, man. Right down the goddamn drain. That's why this shit's called the system. Where it's a pit, man. It's trapped in this motherfucker, man. You know? The only escape is the word of the Lord. Is your house watching your house, man. Not your Black Panther Party or the, 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 the Black Lives Matter movement coming together. Or what do you think we should do? Economy. None of that shit fucking matters, man. All of that shit is bullshit, man. Ain't shit we can fucking do, man. Ain't shit we can do as a people to get the fuck out of this condition but serve the Lord of sincerity and truth, man. And wait for the Lord to destroy this bitch. And that's the only fucking thing, man. Period. Uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, who the Father will send in my name, this is after Yahweh, well, this, um, Yahweh shall talk to his disciples about leaving. It says, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Well, Back at uh, Sick Prince, we going? Oh, no. I don't know. Uh, Sick Corinthians uh, 4 and uh, 9. Persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed, always bearing about in the body the dying of, uh, of the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Hey, always bearing about the dying of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, within our body, man. So as Yahweh Shai went up on the cross, we suffer all those physical licks uh, up to the body. Now, you know, we it's like walking through the, the Garden of Gethsemane, you know what I'm saying, just as he did. The Garden of Gethsemane means what? All pressed, man. Or, or, or you can put it as what? The anointed being pressed, man. Because to have oil, you got to be anointed. So what? The anointed is being pressed, man. You know what I'm saying? We're being pressed through this straight gate, through this world, man. You know what I'm saying? Every single day, doing this uh, 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 lesson, you know what I'm saying? Them damn uh, uh, kidney stones moving all of me, man. Got to deal with the shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Read that one more time. Huh. It says, always bearing about in, in the body the dying of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Always bearing about in the body the dying of our Lord. So every suffering that we go through, we bearing about the dying of the Lord of on that cross, man. It's a part of the suffering. Man. Just to uh, chime in as well, add in, is that that scripture means a lot. And that goes towards the Passover, man. Always bearing about in the dying of the Lord. We hold, we reverse the Passover that the Lord reverses, man. You know? Not this party. We host, we reverse the Passover that the Habashai taught us to do. Alright? Always bearing about in the, in the dying in the body of the Lord, man. We're always, because we're in the suffering. If we're joint heirs and we suffer, that means we suffer. So everything we follow and everything we do, we're taught by Yahweh Shai to do, all right? So y'all niggas out there of the circumcision, celebrating on the Passover and all that mess, you going the fuck off, man. And if Yahweh Shai looking down, he, he mad as hell, man. You know, it's an Israelite party. I ain't picking on them guys, but it's the truth, man. You know, it's all this women singing and men rapping. And Yahweh Shai want to off their head, man. Because why? We shouldn't be, we shouldn't be enjoying ourselves. We should be crying out, giving that love to the Lord for the Lord to come back and bless us, man. You know, deliver us. The fuck you out here partying? Come on, man. Not bad. Say the souls, um, the souls of the just and plain continuously, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're signing and crying like you brought out earlier with the teacher. Yeah, it, it's, it's a difference when, you know, you're on your lone time, I might need to show you go to a bar or something. That's different. 
but don't don't try to party with the word of the Lord and make it righteous. You know what I'm saying? We're in the time of suffering, man. You party, you keep that off camera, you do it with your little shorty on the side and let that be. You be in life, you know, you're in flesh. You know, you can have a little downtime on that, whatever, but you don't make your congregation and promote this vibration. That's why you niggas that's rapping, you're promoting vibration for niggas to come in this thing. You know, we ain't want no niggas. We be we left from being niggas. So we should just promote the truth like it's Fat, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then it's gonna then it's gonna seem to people, even though it's not the case, but it's seem to people like, it's oh yeah, 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 that you is right thing, yeah, that was cool back in back in uh, 2018. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like if it's a couple of big years down the line, you know, so they're gonna look at it as a fat as another group, but it's not fat. So, and, and the fact that you try to use the word and, and party with it, you know, use the uh, the Passover, you know, party with it. You know, when, when you read the scripture, I believe in Ezekiel the second chapter. How this book is full of lamentation, mourning, and woe. Here it is, that's the majority of the scriptures. How are you going to party, you know, with, with a, uh, a book that contains a substance of mourning, lamentation, and woe? And don't coincide, man. That's how you know you are. Yo, yo, which Passover is more important? Hezekiah's Passover or Yahweh Shah's Passover? Exactly. Hey, a lot of betrayal was going on during the time of Yahweh have Shai's passing. You know, guys fall out mm -hmm. at that time, you know, and guys come in. You know, it's spiritual. Mm -hmm. So those individuals who tend to fall out is because they have the seed of Judas, man. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said he hated uh, Hezekiah's Passover anyway in Isaiah the first chapter, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. him and a couple of other kings he said, those who tell that he hates, they despise their feast day, man. Mm -hmm. oh, right. Damn. Why are you going to celebrate? Yeah, celebrate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4.10 Always bearing about in the body the dying of our Lord Yahweh Shai that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our bodies. Right. So that the life of Yahweh Shai may be made manifest within our bodies, yeah. man. And that's what? Yeah. Through our spirits, man. It was bringing out the word. Read, read it one more time. Con. 2 Corinthians 4 and 6, always bang about in the body the dying of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Hey, and then, then think about it again, right? Always bring about in our body the dying of the Lord. And what's the name of the lesson? Uh, uh, bearing the burdens of Babylon. Yeah. How we, we bearing, bearing the burdens of Babylon because we always bring about the dying of the Lord within our body. You know that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our bodies. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake. Hey, we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake. Meaning everything that we're doing, we're delivering ourselves up to death. Think about it. In our other countries, where we go, we can say the treason against the government and shit like that. Man. You know what I'm saying? We're delivering ourselves up to death. We're saying, Esau, you know who you want us to you know what I'm going to do? Come and get us. Fuck, we don't give a fuck. We're giving up our lives, man, on the, on the platter, man. You know what I'm saying? On the silver platter, man. Period. Yeah. For we will live or always deliver unto death for Yahweh Shai's sake, mm -hmm. that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our own flesh. Exactly. So it's all giving the glory to the Heavenly Father and the Son, man. You know I'm saying? To, to show that we are His chosen. We are the ones that are standing stiffly for His name. We the one sign and crying for the abomination that be done thereof. We the ones that stand up against the works of, the, uh, in, of iniquity and the evil doing. All of those different things, all it tells what men of the Lord are doing, you know how we are and what we stand up for. For we, 2 Corinthians 4 and 11, for we which live are always delivered unto death for the house I say that the life also of the house shot might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Now, you call yourself being a prophet, you think it's cool to be a prophet? You think it's cool to, you think it's cool to be a prophet of the Lord? You read it again? But you gotta count the cost, man. You know, are you in this truth for faith for what? You know, if it's not for faith, then you yourself, man. You know, because today, it's, it's a thing of social media and, you know, trying to look like a knowledge of who or you're educated. You know, pick up the Bible and, and quote the scriptures. It's so easy now. People coming out of nowhere, or oh, I know the scriptures. You're wrong. You know? So go ahead, read that again. For we which live 
are always delivered unto death for Yahweh Shai. We each live always delivered unto the death for Yahweh Shai. Every time these prophets came on the earth, they always was close to deliverance or somewhat deliverance unto death for the sacrifice, man, of the Lord. So is it cool to be a prophet? Is it, is it a fab? Is it a thing where you just pick the book up, you, you know, with the church? You've been in the church system for five years and now you think you know the Bible and you just want to teach the word? You coming up some other way? Go ahead. It says, uh, that the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. See? Because why? Through the sacrifices, the, uh, read it again. Watch it. The last part. That the life also of Yahweh Shai might be made manifest. The life of, of Yahweh Shai be made manifest in us. Go ahead. In our mortal flesh. In our mortal flesh. Because <laughs> this is what's going to be changed, man. You know? Being tried in the fire, man. Go ahead. And that's what's uh, the acceptable. Like, uh, when Isaac, when Isaac asked um, Abraham, um, he asked him, uh, where's the lamb? Remember, uh, when oh. Isaac asked uh, Abraham, where's the lamb? And Abraham said, the Lord is going to provide the lamb. Yeah, right, right, right. That's right. Yeah. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, because the men that come before us, they, they gave their life for the Lord so that what we can have the. Uh, the Light of the Lord, man. You know, always. But guess what? There's an end to this thing. We're in the end now. You know, there's no more after this, man. Esau's going down, man. Our kingdom is up next, man. There ain't gonna be another 50, 60 years here, man. You know, and Esau chipping everybody, and then what? The prophets trying to rise up again. You know, they did this back in 2018, but this is 2055, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Nah, this, this is it, man. This is it, man. You know, the beginning and the end was spoken from the beginning. We have, we having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore I, have I spoken. Right. Yeah. That's what David said. We, we having the spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, and therefore have I spoken. Right. We having the spirit of faith. You know what I'm saying? According to what King David said, he said, Well, I believe, therefore have I spoken. You know what I'm saying? However, buzz coming to the truth, you saw it, you know what I'm saying? You heard it, you believe, and now you speak on it, man. Because you know and your spirit was right. And you can see that everything around you is wrong and, and the situations and, and why we're in these conditions, man. This, this whole fight was based upon faith. You know what I'm saying? You have tangible, there's so much tangible truth. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord is asking us just to uh, uh, walk out here blindly. You know what I'm saying? Period. The Lord is actually guiding us, man. You know how the saying there was uh, Isaiah uh, was it 30. Uh, from, uh, Somebody get it? Yeah, one, 30 and 21. Yeah, yeah, 30 and 21. Did yeah, you turn that book? Uh, and also, too, just to, just to add in, because the Lord is guiding us, but he's also fighting our battles. Yeah. Yeah. Giving us the, the, the strength to fight the battles. Yeah. So it's through them that we're conquerors. Like Paul said, we're conquerors through them that love us. You know? They say the victory is already won. It yeah. is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Every time we step out this battle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20, and through the, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. Right, and, and that's what we have now, man. That's, that's just like the prophets of old and how we were speaking on what uh, Eli, right? You know what I'm saying? Or uh, when the Lord called him to the three times or something like that. Was that Eli was sin. 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 Sin.
So, but all I wanted to do, hey, to do is put the bread up to the love, man. The only way out is the way through. Mm. Can't mm. climb up some other way. Uh -huh. you gotta go through it. And you can't run from it. Right. It's gonna get you. Just stay strong, you know what I'm saying? You gotta show time to go. Just keep on bearing these fucking burdens out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, um, <laughs> you gotta say it like that, man. But uh, with that, you know, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory to your power. Ba Hashem, 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 Ba Y'all, brother. Death to you, black ass bitches. You got that?